Hello people and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 wheel spin race build thing. Yeah, sorry if my voice sounds odd, it's like early in the morning and my voice hasn't woken up yet. But if you don't know what this is, basically what we do is we do a wheel spin and whichever car is furthest to the left is our car that we have to turn into a race car. Whatever money we get is our budget to upgrade it. So let's just get straight into it. What are we going to get? Give me something good. Please. Please. Oh, there's a lot of cars there. Oh, no. Look at all the cars I could have got. And I get a Chevy Impala and 10k and whatever that thing's worth. I land. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's worth 135k. So I've got 145k to upgrade it. I no longer feel bad about that. So there it is. So we've got... 145k to turn this into a race car it's a good budget it's also pretty much a boat it's massive but also really cool so it's fine i don't know how this is gonna make a race car but we will see oh god holy looby dooby hoobly blubs that is a bit of a not very cornery car. It's a muscle car. I don't really know what I expected. And I've spun it out. Let's just upgrade it. <laughs> okay, right. So, what engine swaps can we do? We can pretty much afford to do any of them. So I guess we should go with a V12. Yeah. That's the most powerful, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go with a V12. Put twin turbos. I'm just going to fully upgrade it first. See what that comes to. And then if it's over the budget, I'll downgrade it. Oh my god, how low is that? What the hell? It literally jumps. Bloody hell. How low do you need your suspension? Okay, so it's a low rider. That's actually pretty sick. I like that. Right, okay, we are in budget. And we've got 150... Okay, let's try that again. 1,500 horsepower. 1,400 kilos. That's light for something this big. Jesus. Okay, I think we've done really lucky. That made no sense. I think we've got really lucky here. Okay, so I'm just going to tune it and then we'll go on to painting it. Okay, right. Let's paint it. What colour should we go with? I feel like going with something quite wacky with this. Like that gold. Just because it's so low, it needs something very unique that blue's really nice actually i think this is just one of those cars that literally any color will work apart from pink i think i'm gonna go with this blue kind of suits the car so i'm gonna go with it so this car is either gonna be like really quick and bad at cornering actually no there's, there's no other option this is gonna be really quick and bad at cornering because it is still humongous yeah and, and that's what she said look at it maybe i shouldn't have made it this low Okay, maybe it's not bad at cornering. It's definitely really quick. I got that bit right. But maybe it's just really quick. Maybe it's not bad at cornering. A bit of understeer there, but I was going like 180. It's a bit slidey, but I kind of expect that at this speed. Okay, yeah, no, this is actually really good at cornering. Bit of understeer when it's above like 120. But you kind of expect that from a muscle car. Oh my god, this thing's amazing. It's going to be so good when Forza Horizon 5 comes out. Because you have so much more customization, And this car will sound amazing as well. Doing a wheel spin race build on that game will be a lot more interesting. Because you've got all the new race parts and stuff. It's going to be really good. But this thing is quick. Can you drift it? Yep, definitely. It's not really drifting. Power slide. I'm now quite confused. Because I can actually power slide this thing quite well. But a minute ago it was like the grippiest car in the world. I'm just going to brush over that small detail that's hurting my brain box. And let's do a race. Oh, that's a bit broken. <laughs> the wheel is going through the wheel arch. Right, okay. How quickly can it go around the Colossus? Probably very quickly. What are we against? Okay, a Performante. 
Okay, uh, I think we will probably be able to beat that. Definitely faster than that, but that's probably quicker in the corners. And I also really can't drive. Okay, it's not as good a cornering as it felt a minute ago. It does understeer quite a lot. But it's just so fast. Doesn't matter, I've already caught up. Okay, well, it, it is fast, but I'm not, if that made any sense whatsoever. If I don't beat this Lamborghini, I'll be kind of annoyed, because I was just saying how good this car is and how amazed I am by it. And if it beats a hurricane, if it loses to a hurricane, it's not generally. Usually it wouldn't be a very surprising thing, a Chevrolet being beaten by a hurricane, but, um... I have like 145k to spend on it, so I feel like it should be faster. It is faster, actually, it's just not great at cornering, and to be fair, the Performante is kind of the more track-focused version. You didn't see anything. Wall. 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 To be fair, though, he's not getting further away, he's just far away. So he's far ahead, but he's not getting any further ahead. So if I actually concentrate, I might be able to catch up. We've got the straight in a minute. I think that's where I'll be able to catch up. Wait, I just realised he probably has upgrades as well, doesn't he? I didn't think about that for some reason. For some reason I was assuming that it's stock. But it's an S2 race, so he's probably upgraded his as much as he physically could. But okay. This is our chance to catch up, and we're definitely not going to. We are catching up, actually. Just not enough. What if I do my epic technique? That is actually my technique, by the way. I wasn't driving absolutely terribly. That is how I drive that bit. And look, it actually worked. I'm catching up. So joke's on you. If you thought I was being stupid, I wasn't. It's a first, but I actually wasn't being stupid. That was stupid then, but... No, I'm catching up. I may have a car that's completely smashed up, but at least I'm catching up. If you look in the top left, he's got an exclamation mark next to his name. Or his time. So that means he, too, has crashed at some point. And I'm going to overtake him! Ha ha! Sucker! Oh, this is... Not... Unscary. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. I need to break here. So usually I can get around there flooring it, but usually I'm not going that fast. I'm not in a muscle car. Oh no. Oh no. He's right there. Go. Go. Yes. I beat the hurricane. If I actually concentrated and wasn't trying to commentate, I probably could have got a better lap. But I really don't care. I beat them. Okay, that was actually a really interesting challenge spin wheel thing uh i hope you enjoyed if you did hit that like button if you didn't hit that dislike button that's what it's there for subscribe if you want to if you don't don't and i'll see you next time goodbye